Hey, hey, welcome back to another Life by You update from my new office. We moved, everything is going great after a week of being here, and now I should be caught up and be able to, you know, bring you more content uh, from here on out. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not yet. But yes, today we're going to check out the latest post about editing an in-game event in Life by You. So the community manager is going to show us how that works. So if you're a modder and you're interested in the tools behind the game, this is a video for you. It's a little bit more back end and kind of learning about how the systems work and how you can edit them to your liking. So let's watch a video and see what it's all about. And here's a tweet. Join community manager Rocio as she walks you through adding and editing an event in game. Then watch as two characters take the event for a test run by going on a hike. So that should be interesting. Let's see uh, what this looks like. Hi everyone, it's Rocio, and I'm here to talk to you about event editing in uh -huh. Life by You. So we've already spoken to you about quest editing, and that is a portion not of in this, the way too much. but we're I'll going to look at the overall event structure around is. those quests. And we will go over events in more detail with Hannah, our game designer on events, in the actual in-game events, and the types of events you might see in Life by You. But okay. in case you want to make your own events, this is what this video is for. First, let's go ahead and go to the events. I'm going to show you a quick example as that's always a good way to see what they look like. So let's, let's go ahead and start with a birthday party. Like. Yep. This is one that that's Hannah good. is going to show off so you can see it, a little preview for that. Here you can see the display name is event. Here you can see, here you can see the display name for the birthday party. Um, you can also mark it as a work event, and Hannah will go over work at a future point in time as well. Um, you can see that there's a time work limit That's in minutes for an event. You can have an event be schedulable by the individual person. So, for example, you can schedule a birthday party, you can schedule a date, you can schedule stuff like that, but you won't necessarily be able to schedule your work. That comes with its own schedule. Okay. And here you can see under the condition, a visual is this person has to have any relationships with the human, in this case, who has a birthday within 10 days. So you can be friends with them, you can be in a relationship with them, and that person can schedule that event and be the host for that event. Okay. Here you can see there is minimum, maximum of one host, minimum, maximum of one person. Birthday one person. person at your birthday, and that will be kind of If you go under that. conditions, you can see again, birthday check. It will check to see when that person's birthday is. Because you can't nice. have a birthday party five months ahead of their birthday. Why and not? then you have guests. So for this what one in particular, you can, party? See, you can have no guests. You can have up to 15 guests for this party. And the condition here is they need to be acquainted, friends, siblings, parents, or housemates. Okay. That's basically the roles. Um, one thing that we can look at here as well is under host. You can see that the host has their own quest. So here for the birthday party host, you will have a time limit for the event. They are the ones who know when they have to schedule and how soon they have to schedule it. And it will quit that event once they, once the time expires. So let's go ahead and go to edit this thing. Okay. And here you can see, you can override the journal text if you want it to say something particular. Here you can adjust the host name if you want it to say something else other than host. And you can see here for the host on event schedule, they now have the quest to prepare the birthday party. And similarly for the There's a lot of person, technical they stuff also in have them, their own name, their own quest. And we'll go over what a birthday party looks like in more detail later. And here you can also select the lot selection. So this can be a selected human, it Where can be public it lots, is. it can be any lots. In this case, you want it to be the participant's home because they're mm -hmm. hosting the party. And it will show in your calendar here, which is important to know so you don't miss the event. If you yeah. miss the event, then you're missing a party calendar that you're hosting in this case, crazy. or that it's your birthday party. So that's the structure of an event, as you can see on this side of it. One thing that I want to go through, let's go ahead and look at what these quests look like on the other side. So for example, oh, yeah, let's go to a birthday party person. As the birthday party person, there are a couple of things you have to do on your birthday party. You have to attend the party, you have to blow out your candles, and you have to eat cake. Okay. These require Sounds some kind like of interaction, party. and this one requires you to actually arrive at the lot you need. I would say Here maybe you can like see all the steps are optional, so you can oh, go ahead optional. and okay. if you don't want to do something, don't do it. What about you add, don't want like, cake? Don't eat cake. Um, this is dance? also a time quest. If you don't 
finish put on some music something like that succeed and you i guess a host would do that probably um in this case you get experience in the case of the host you have a lot more to do you have to actually attend the birthday party give birthday wishes you have to give a gift you have to light the candles you have to start the birthday song you have to eat cake there's a whole lot you have to do as the birthday host that makes Let's go sense. ahead and make ourselves an event because I think that's the easiest way to show you how this all works. So what mm-hmm, we're going mm-hmm, to do mm-hmm. is we're going to go to game events. We're going to create one and I'm going to title it. I personally, I know we just added this feature in, so we're going to test it out. Mm-hmm. I want to take pictures. So let's go ahead and make this a hike. Let's say a hike. Oh, okay. So take pictures on the hike. Go on a hike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the event. And then the display name is going to be typed better. Let's give it a solid amount of time because you never know how long that hike can be. Some hikes can be really long. Some hikes can not be long. Yeah. Let's make the condition. Let's add a condition for the traits. So has trait. This is real like back end game development type stuff. Let's see. I love We're it. We're going to make this person. But I know. A lot of you guys I may not think someone, want to I think we do need this, somebody who likes but the outdoors. I think the modders and people who design so games let's go will ahead and say they're appreciate athletic. the if tools they're that they're offering. You need to have that trait in order to schedule it. From here, you can go ahead and add a new role, which I'm going to go ahead and okay. say hike, hike host, Mm-mm. and then we're going to have hike guest. Okay. All right, so each one of these will require a quest. And for this person, let's say we need at least one for guests. We can have up to four, but they can go alone. They don't need everybody. Yeah. Um, let's not you can invite hike on elders, your own. but let's invite teens. Just be careful. We don't want the elders to get sore knees. <laughs> Children should be able to go I on hikes. I think we Come already on. have the condition, so there's no problem there. And I think. I hiked more as a child than an adult. You know, when your athletic friend invites you to go hiking, you just say yes. A little bit. Next, we're going to choose a a couple years as an adult. As you can see, there's a lot of quests here. But we know, because I just made this up right now, that there's no quest that I want to use. A grown up and like camp and all kinds of like summer things. We always end up hiking around. Picnic area one is what we're hiking to. Is that common? <laughs> and then we also had a bunch of a nice it'll park, show like our the calendar, park and the city. And I, I grew think up in. that makes perfect sense. So let's say we made this quest, or we made this event. Now let's add a quest for it. Now we go okay. to quest, which we've already done this before, but it's just so to cool. reiterate, you just go here, you add <laughs> a new great. quest. The journal tag will be. Oh yeah, I remember the screen a little bit. Maybe and then I'm not going to add tags. That's it. for if you were going to plan to refer back to this later, but. I'm just going to type in lead the hike. This is a timed quest. Let's give it the same 600 minutes. All steps are optional. And then perfect. Okay. We'll give them, let's say 200 XP for doing this. You could also give them skills, give them traits. We kind of already went over that in the quest video. So I'll link that in the description below. But first, let's add some steps. So I think for this first one, if you're leading the hike, Part of your goal as you're leading the quest is to travel to the lot. So get to hiking location. You're leading this, so, you know, it's mm-hmm. up to you. And then... Wherever you want to walk. And you'll be able to walk around the whole world. <laughs> so Great. let's do that. And then this is always available, and that's pretty much all you need to do to lead a hike. I think the other person's responsibility is way more important. Add one more. Yeah. This is hike leader. Okay. And then this one will be hike guest. Okay. Um, and this one will be enjoy the hike, which is arguably more difficult because you're tired, you're cranky, you just want to go home. Mm-hmm. I think the next things you do here is take photos. Yeah. So our goal here is to perform specific oh, take photograph. Take photograph. So oh, we want to okay. make sure take photos. Of the views. We want to make sure you take a photograph. And this person is actually going to be cheerful because you, once you finish this, you're like, you know what? That was worth it. The hike was yeah, totally yeah. worth it. Yeah, yeah. When you, when you get a good experience. shot, it surprisingly on a hike, it feels worth good. It. 
We're also yeah. going to go ahead add some fitness mm -hmm, mm -hmm, XP mm -hmm. for, the, for, the, for your efforts up the hiking path. And then one more thing we want to do is we want to admire nature. So let's first do say, let's perform specific interactions. Um, Enjoy the cut here while I went to go make sure I got the name right. <laughs> so this one is optional. Okay. And then here we're going to have them take a location of a picnic and have the object be a plant. That's pretty much it for this these two quests. So now that I have these two set, I go back and I go to my game event. And we're going to go to on a hike. And for the hike host... You're going to pick the quest that you just created. We have oh. hike leader. And for nice. the guest, we have hike guest. That's cool. Oops, a daisy. Okay, perfect. So he'll, they'll inherit the time limit and give up when the time limit expires. Perfect. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead, save and close, and I'll see you on this hike. Let's go All through right. our people here. We have Clea. She's athletic, active. She had an energetic childhood. Uh, <laughs> we have... She does look very energetic. Let's go with Don Andre. He's a tech whiz, lazy, <laughs> sure. and a well-behaved child. I didn't go ahead and do any of the likes or dislikes. We're just going to roll with this mm -hmm. and okay. see how they fare on their hike. Go to events. Create new. Frame rate, though. Oh, the phone she looks She's giving me that side eye. Okay, but that's okay. Mm -mm. She is athletic, so she's going to go ahead and pick a hike for... Let's do... Let's do 10 a.m. so they have time to get there. All right. Okay. And so let's go the, ahead and invite the date my and time. You select who you're gonna. And then bring. all right, that looks solid. Confirm that event. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now cool, cool, we cool. just have to wait for them to go. Let's see what our roommate's doing. He's watching TV. Okay, let's he's already going to the hike. Is she going to the hike as well? She, she looks like she's going is. a different way. <laughs> so she's not like he's going a to get slob. There. Together they're going to go take the world by storm. Mm-hmm. No, she's crying. Oh, no. <laughs> she's sad. Well, it's fine. He's the one with all the stuff to do with the hike. She'll meet us there, probably, right? Yeah, she'll meet okay. us there. Yeah, she's, she's have to kind of have a little cry, cry before the hike. hike. Okay, we so all... I don't know why I made it 10 hours if the picnic location is so close to their house, but that's okay. <laughs> so he had that's a couple fine. of quests. I think one of them, well, we'll do it once he's... Once he officially arrives on the lot. And then it'll it'll pop okay, up on so the left. Okay, so we're here, and, and we're going to go ahead and complete what the What you have to do changes. next. This will be really cool. I feel like um, there's a lot of... He observed nature too recently A lot of fun, unique one. stuff so you can create. we're going to go ahead and observe nature here. With this event Good thing. observing. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and take a picture and hopefully get some plants Vending machines there. look good. Um, Let's see. I think this seems like a nice shot. We're going to go ahead... Let's yeah. angle it a little. Beautiful. And, uh, I would put it higher up. Take but, a you picture. Know. Amazing. That's fine. And that's pretty much how you add an event to life by you, including the quests that are part of it. Obviously, I made this event way too long for the quest that I gave yeah. them, but you can make this more complicated. You can add different events that will trigger once other events finish. There are mm -hmm, a lot of mm -hmm, options. Mm -hmm. okay. So cool. Once you get your hands on life by you, feel free to do whatever makes you happiest. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and hope to see you all soon and we'll go over events. All right. And with that, that's the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little, you know, slower probably if you're not into the editing behind this, but I love to see kind of how that works because it's really cool to see it in the game. Like you do the back end stuff and then you see how it works in the game. And I love that. So I'm excited to mess around with it. I hope that they still continue improving the look and the frame rate of the game and just like all the art style that they said they're working on. And also I hope that we see more about the consequences and negative things that they said they were gonna add to the game. I'm sure that's something that like they only just announced in like January, so they're probably still working on that before they reveal it, but I'm very curious to see where that's going and where that progress is. If you're interested in this game, make sure you subscribe. I cover these updates every week and I'm also gonna start covering other life simulation game updates as well. So leave a comment, let me know how you feel about this game so far, and I'll see you next week. All right. Bye!